Small spinner baits catch fish, no doubt about it. Little bitty small spinner baits, some seem like sometimes the smaller you get the better, but they're really hard to throw. Without throwing them on a spinning reel, what's some way that you can make a little small spinner bait easier to cast? Good morning guys and girls. Good morning. November 19. November 19 looking at Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Can y'all spell Deuteronomy? Spell it real quick for me. You got it? You got it? Deuteronomy. It's a hard one for me to spell. You know, it's spelled just like it's pronounced. D-E-U-T-E-R-O-N-O-M-Y. Now you know how to spell Deuteronomy. That's a little extra out there. I'm not sure they're teaching them how to how to spell in school nowadays so we'll just do it right here on on catch of the day channel deuteronomy 4 34 he did it with tests with signs with miracles with war and great sights by his great power and strength god proved that he's god by his great power and his strength by the way if you're not subscribed to the catch of the day channel hit that subscribe button right now over 18,000 of the greatest people in all of the dead gum world, I guarantee you, right here on the Catch of the Day channel. You know, if you're not subscribed, you need to be. You need to be subscribed to the Catch of the Day YouTube channel. Doesn't cost anything. If you're not on YouTube, some of you are not. If you're not on YouTube, get over there. It doesn't cost anything. <coughs> and I'm going to tell you, this is a family, a Catch of the Day family. He did it with tests, signs, miracles, war, and great sights by his great power and his great strength. I love God's power. There are, there are maybe millions of unfished bass in the United States. Unfished bass. We have more small pieces of water available that have never had a bass list tossed into them than you can shake your favorite spinnerbait rod at. Most of the water holes are around cities and towns. They're around shopping centers, golf courses, housing developments, abandoned gravel pits, and other unsuspecting spots. You know, my buddy Mike Iaconelli one time did a show a few years back, a television show, it was on a couple, two or three years, where he would go fish city waters, just any water he could find around the big cities. I'm talking about the big cities back on the East Coast where Mike lives. And he would catch bass in every single solitary one of them. And most of the time, he's the only guy that ever fished there. Nobody else ever fished there. So we're passing up a lot of really, really good fishing spots by the little pieces of water around cities, around cities. You know, golf courses, a lot of times they'll let you uh, fish on a golf course if you just go ask them. And if you're really nice and don't throw any trash or anything around, they'll let you fish on a golf course. I know a few people that have slipped in at night to fish golf courses. I'm not going to mention any names, but I do know a few. I do know a few. We might overlook some super fishing holes, but we cannot possibly overlook the awesome power of an almighty God. God displays his great power every single solitary day. Even a non-believing outdoorsman sees this every time he goes fishing and hunting. To those of us who are believers, we not only see these miracles and great sights every single day in the outdoors, but we have come to cherish them. God has provided in His universe signs and wonders that can be there no other way than have been created by Almighty God. When we see life in the waters, in the woods, when we see sunrises and sunsets, when we see wind blowing like it is this morning, I mean really blowing, could have really blow today, I believe. When we see all this, even a non-believing person has got to say, look around and say, thank you, God, you created something spectacular right here. You created something really, 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 really awesome. Here's our tip for today, talking about small spinner baits. A split shot. That's right. Add a split shot to a small spinner bait for easier casting. You can actually add those to any type baits. You can add a, 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 to a quarter ounce, a three-eighths ounce, a half ounce bait to get it down a little bit deeper to cast on a windy day like today. One of the most difficult things in fishing is fishing in the wind. We all hate it. We would rather it be really cold or really hot. 
snowing, raining, whatever, wind. We just don't like the wind. But it's hard to throw spinner baits in the wind a lot of times. They got a tendency to catch the wind a little bit, the blades, but you can add a split shot to those spinner baits. You can put it right behind the hook, just put it under the hook, underneath the skirt. Now it can't even be seen. You can put it out in front of the lead, right on the wire. So just uh, crimp a little split shot on there. Uh, you can actually put it, if you want, on your line. Now, if you put it on your line, you're going to damage your line probably a little bit when you tighten it down. So it's better to put it on a bait itself, but you can actually use split shots and make little bitty small spinner baits very, very good. You know, in a lot of tournaments, I've had guys ask me, man, I can't believe the way you can throw that little tiny spinner bait and uh, it might be a quarter ounce spinner bait but now I've added some split shot to it and got it on up there where it may be a five eighths ounce spinner bait and it cast in the wind really really good cast into the wind really really good so that little split shot can be a day saver on a small spinner bait particularly on a windy day and it'll also allow you to get down deeper quicker just a little split shot put it on the hook a lot of times it works on the hook just put it right underneath the skirt Fish can't see it. It's just right there, and it works really, really good. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. Remember, you make today. The day doesn't make you. Whatever circumstances you're into today, don't let the people get you down. Don't let it, bad words. Don't let bad service. Don't let bad circumstances get you down. You go out there and have you a great day today because this is the day that God made, and he made it spectacularly. Remember, I sure do love you.